Live with Men, 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 the podcast. This is Men, 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 the podcast. Another day, another session. Siku nyingine ambayo tunakuwa na conversation nyingine kuhusiana na mental health for men. Now, kukukumbusha tu, the whole concept ya kuwa na Men, 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 the podcast is moja. Tunasema to unlearn. Mana yake kuyafungua yale ambayo tukua tumejifunza zamani. Pili, ku unpack. Ku unpack ni kama kupakua vili kutoka kwamba kama ukua kuna box lao kwa mwesha ilipack na uku unpack ni kwamba kujaribu kutoa kuelewa kwamba kwa nini tunafanya vitu ambavu tunafifanya lakini vile vile tunasema relearn manake kwanza kujifunza upya yale ambayo tulidhani tume, tumefundishwa mwanzo lakini dhumu la kujifunza upya ni ili kuweza kuwa bora zaidi na kuweza kufanya vitu kwa bora zaidi mimi naitwa Michael Baruti usually tunakuwa na Nadia Ahmed a one resident psychologist lakini lately uh, kuna mambo mawili matatu yamembana ndio maana ameshindwa kutijoin lakini very soon she will be back on her seat kama unataka kuwasiliana na Nadia ambaye ni our resident psychologist ni @mindmatterstz on Instagram @mindmatterstz on Twitter there's a link kwenye bio yake ama moja kwa moja utakupeleka kwenye website and from there unaweza uka book session if you want to sisi ni @men the podcast on Twitter @men the podcast on Instagram and Facebook send us a DM you know send us a, 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 a tweet au chochote kile ambacho uh, unataka kutuambia lakini kumbuka which is the most important thing go and sub- subscribe kwenye YouTube channel yetu. Do if you're watching us, I think itakuwa inapita hapa muda huu. Yeah, itakuwa inapita hapa. So go and subscribe or unaweza kupitia link ya boss hapo kwenye uh, our social media pages ambao moja kwa moja itakupeleka kwenye uh, channel yetu ya YouTube lakini pia unaweza kutupata Spotify, Apple Podcast, Boomplay, Audio Mac, a Good Pods na anywhere ambapo unaweza kupata podcast yako. So karibu sana kwenye Men 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 the podcast. Hisia Yes. Elisha. Yes. Which one do we go with? Yeyote tu. Which one are you comfortable with? Popote ambapo hisia zako zitakupeleka. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, yeah. when you are you are, so this would be our episode number 86. Okay. Right? Okay. Wewe ndio mtu pekee ambaye umekuja na team yani. Ah. Yeah. Kapita guess what I'm going to make one now. Yeah. And, and I'm talking about I did it to befanya podcast moja na kigwangala wakati alikuwa waziri yes. uh, tumefanya na tumefanya na balozi alikuwa balozi wa Sweden Tanzania yes, yes, yes. tumefanya na UN coordinator yes, 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 yes. you are the only one who could get into it well, it's not it's not it's not an entourage <laughs> um iko up with desire my wife oh nice yes. nice um niko na ex isia na desire isia na desire chezea yeah no uh, but match made in heaven yeah match made in heaven my god <laughs> yeah, yeah, then niko yeah. na ex na margaret um ni wenzangu tunafanya nao kazi amazing yeah ni wadogo zangu pia Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Nice yeah. man. Yeah. Nice to have you, my guy. Asante. So, um kwambe una unatuangalia, unatusikiliza sasa hivi. Na kama umekuwa ukitufuatilia kwa muda mrefu, unajua kwamba moja kati ya vitu ambavyo tulikuwa tukizungumzia sana kwenye podcast yetu hapa ni umuhimu wa kuamini katika mchakato. Tunasema trusting the process. Na the reason tunasema ni muhimu kuamini kwenye mchakato kwa sababu kwa pamoja tunaamini kwamba hakuna kitu ambacho unastahili kupata na kile ambacho nakiamini kabisa kwamba kipo kwa ajili yako hakikaja kwa urais. Mimi I strongly believe that. Nadia usually waga anasema kwamba doing the work is actually the shortcut. Kwamba hakuna namna nyingine ya kuweza kufikia mafanikio zaidi ya kufanya kazi. Na tulifanyaga episode moja na bwana moja. Episode, I think ilikuwa inaitwa Finding My Purpose to Find My God and Oden and they actually talked about so as mala kupitia mchakato wa maumivu. So literally ukizungumza na na watu wengi ambao either they wanaamini katika wanachokifanya wanapenda wanachokifanya au wana wana, wana ndoto kwamba itakachokufanya kitawapeleka same fani huaga ni watu ambao wanaamini sana katika mchakato yeah yeah sana 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 yeah, sana yeah, yeah. and uh, uh me and you met like i think about a month ago yeah yeah um yeah. na tulungalishwa na Hafiz shout yes. out to Hafiz 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 ni fanya ile podcast moja kuhusiana na malezi it was a good one mm-hmm. so um and well wakati tunaongea which was off air kabisa yeah. you started telling me about the journey that ulipitia kuweza kukufikisha hapa yeah. right yeah. and as we were talking for me i was really fascinated okay na the reason i was fascinated ni kwa sababu niliona kwa namna gani ulifuata process ya mafanikio okay na ninaposema process ya mafanikio ni kwamba kuna kuna outliers few cases ambazo mafanikio yanakuja mtu pa 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 pa, pa yeah. vitu vimetokea yeah. lakini for a lot of us 
it's actually a process yeah. as more PTV to now yeah. and i think that is the essence of us having this conversation here ni kujaribu kufikia hayo kwa hiyo ambao farm tunazungumza na Elisha au hisia maarufu zaidi kama hisia instagram hisia tz i hope hakuna hisia hakuna hisia ke na hisia hii au hisia za um he has an amazing podcast ambao anaifanya ni from sasa i'm a big fan asante I've enjoyed a couple of episodes and I think because some of them we found out about they are my friends we found a FQ we found an Cindy we found a Seba those are my people kabisa we found an Mona Juice we found ngine na Ninja mzee wa Tumza and this <laughs> and it's hard because these are the people that I know abu yes. kuny say kwa ngo yeah. na yeah. now but it's always different when you hear them in front of the mic yes yes na, yes. na namna both they decided to articulate and tell their stories yes so before we deep dive into your story okay I I want to hear the story from Sasa. Sa. Like wh- what is it? Wh- wh- how, why in Sasa? How did okay. you come up with that? Sasa. Um <clears throat> so we run a marketing agency mm-hmm. and bio in it was naked. N E I K E D naked. Na naked is 5 years old. Wow. Yeah, we're turning f- <laughs> Yeah, we're actually turning 5 in May. We'll be five years old. Um, na kwa kipindi kirefu sana, tulikuwa tukifikiria, ifi, what can we do that can be of value to just the general public? Like, um, you know, you're, as an agency, um, you're a creative, so you have, you're familiar with agency, business, leave your, it's very volatile, yeah? yeah. Um, there's a lot, there's lots of ups and downs. <clears throat> Our business is very volatile. Um, and so, tumejaribu vitu mbalimbali kama kwenda kupeleka vitu kwa vituo vya tutayatima feeding the homeless during Ramadhani na kadhalika na kadhalika but there's there's in some way it didn't feel like we're doing enough and so tukasema okay sisi je sisi kama sisi tunaweza tukafanya nini ambacho sio cha kibiashara uh, na kinaweza kake na manufaa kwa wengi zaidi and we thought hey let's do something ambacho we have the capability and the skill set to do which is content production marketing and comms and so once we decided that it was either going to be um, a series of events or a podcast the podcast ikapata kura na watu wengi zaidi kwenye team so ikawa ni podcast um and then sasa ndo tukana fikiria what what is the angle so of sinikwetu bwana we have a culture of embracing failure um to an extent whereby anybody who's new that comes in Um, ni kama vile unalazimishwa ufeli so that you can get over yourself like get over it yani you will fail multiple times but fail quickly fail fast so you yeah sindio so that we can keep the ball rolling and we thought okay maybe this could be a cool concept especially when you think about the fact that most people who are doing really well in something whatever the case may be mara nyingi sana wali fail kwenye vitu vingi kabla sio wote mara nyingi lakini wali fail kwenye vitu vingi kabla na kufeli kwao pale ambako walipata walifanikiwa kupata somo a lesson um, it's what made them better yes and so we're like you know what let's do a podcast where we are going to be talking to successful people about failure and that's why msasa came about and that's what msasa is kwamba msasa ni ile tuna tunasafisha si ndio kama yes 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 so um before we start i want to ask you this why is here and not Alicia. Uh, <laughs> oh, what's the difference? Oh, so um nyuma kidogo mm. nilikuwa a full-time musician. Mm. I'm still a musician. Yeah. But I was more full-time. Yeah. Na tangu shule nilikuwa napenda kuimba. So nje shule siku zote kuna wale washikaji ambao wanakaga na gonga gonga meza, ah, wanachana yeah. chana. So, yeah. so kama sisi Arusha watu wengi wanachana wani hip hop. Yeah. I don't have the voice for hip hop. Mm kwa kwa shikaji kwa kichana wanahitaji mtu wa chorus ilisha kwa chorus um yeah kishule shule mzee tuna ma hit kibao tukikuwa tuna locally yeah yeah you are locally respected yeah, yeah locally respected sasa yeah. ikaenda 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 um, i've always loved to sing yeah. and then ikafika stage where nikamwaga kushiriki katika tasca project fame yeah, I remember that. yeah so when i went to do the Tusker Project Fame yeah. sikuwa na jina so nakumbuka the first time ambako tumeenda Nairobi and walikuwa wanasajili watu sasa ili muingie kwenye lile lijumba like a big brother thing and kwenye form pale 
he required man you can write your name and artist name come up with that and that day i was like you know what he's here cuz i was thinking cuz <laughs> so before that i used to think laban gigita lil sims au lil eli so you go kuna lil wayne nge so the lil eli i get it it's not creative it's not creative and then kana kabla i was like you know what if you were twenty who will go on a semanini shuleni whenever we're singing and a lot of people used to say na mwanangu naimba kwa sex sing yeah and i see a mwanangu and i see a kino machali yangu so it's like ah okay that's for it's it is yeah just like that yeah and that's how we see a came about yeah so yeah i'm not talking about kuzungu so i i remember the first time in we were it was on tasca project fame it was a very big shot i don't know why this continued were you in the same in techna hemedi no in quanto fault yeah yeah we were the last version you no. you are the last version yeah, yeah. yeah but um so this is where i want to I, and i feel like it could be a segue into a, a, com- a deep dive about not talking about the conversation yet you went in but you didn't win yeah as in who uh, 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 the top winner did you go in expecting to win no what did you expect <laughs> i was surprised to be in so <laughs> <laughs> that's honest. <laughs> yeah, I was like what? Uh, <laughs> But I don't know what it was. I think the first time. So I actually auditioned to Tasca three times. Mara Tatun to Really? Yeah. So the first time I auditioned, I was actually under age. Mara ile si ilikuwa iko sponsored na kampuni ya ya Bia. So you had to be above 21, not 18. 21. 21. So the first time <laughs> I was 19, I auditioned. Tuna yeah. alikuja Arusha ndio ilikuwa mara kwanza kabisa mkuja Chuga. Si ndio yeye apita msechu hiyo. Um, I auditioned um, I didn't get in. The second time um walifanya um Arusha and then wakafanya na da. Nikaenda Arusha. Tena sasa nilikuwa nimejipanga kwa sababu walikuwa wanatangaza in advance. Nikasema nachukua nyimbo hii. Moja. Alafu na practice hiyo nyimbo kinoma noma. Hata nilisto sijizi. And I was ready. Lakini sasa kumbuka tena walifanya triple A pale. Um nikamwona yule mshikaji anaitwa Ian. Yeah. Gasao yule mshikaji yangu. Kabisa ile like. But Ian alikuwa kauzu. Alikuwa kauzu afu is very intimidating. Yeah. Man. So, hiyo 2020, si, si, no sorry, when I was 20, yeah. I don't remember what year was that. Lakini yeah. like, when I was 20, sikupita Arusha. Mm-hmm. That was like no. Naenda da. Kapanda basi. That same that that that's same. Hey, Somebody gonna fanya Arusha and then baada ya siku nne waka wakafanya da. Panda basi <laughs> nikaenda da. Oh wow. Nikaudishi tena siku ingia. I was like ah. And then when I turned 21, I was like you know what? I'm going to audition again. Oh, Uz- wow. Yeah, luckily stack some money usuri but luckily um after high school mimi sikuenda ga chuo. Mm. I had a moment two almost three years where I was kind of figuring myself out and nili nilifanikiwa kumshawishi mzazi wangu nifanye kazi kidogo kabla sienda chuo. Maana kwa sijui kwa sijui nataka kusoma nini. Um so when I turned 21 same thing kaja arusha nikaenda sikupita nikaenda da uzuri nilivenda da ia na kwe i think my problem was ian nilivenda <laughs> <laughs> da yeah, bugu, ah, yeah. it was so intimidating nilivenda yeah. da nikafanywa audition na mtu huyu za his oh wow so sasa yeah. yeah and then he's so welcoming he's warm so it felt like i'm singing in front of my uncle or yeah. something and yani. ah kenda fresh nataka hapo sasa tukapiga tukachuja tena tukaenda Nairobi kenda Nairobi na kupiga hadi tunafika sasa tunafanya audition nyingine akaanza you again <laughs> okay show me what you got show me what you got and i only see think the third time i auditioned again in front of him yeah. i didn't do such a great job but i think he i i think uh-huh. um there was a sense of umshikaji kwa anataka hichi kitu umshikaji ah anangeka sana yani uku 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 aya poa pita ftone utachujua kiasi gani and um to a very large degree including myself sikutegemea kufika mwisho you know in the history of the show i'm the only contestant who never ever got um ni kwa nini ile kuna ingia probation in the history of the show really never not once I'm surprised they didn't win. <laughs> But I must say I didn't expect to win either. I didn't go thinking I would win because you know, those kinds of shows you go with people who are like singing from church. Kwa mtu ana sauti leo. Like yeah, yeah. Ila fresh I don't know. Umu umu. And it's a combined. Umu umu. And and then that for me is really fascinating. This is yeah. what I'm saying kwamba was really fascinating because under normal circumstances, nikishajaribu mara ya kwanza I'm like you know what? Effort. I'm done. Any yani, I can't comment on my moment lakini kurudi second time and then 
I feel like kuna unajua kuna watu ambao natural ni wabishi eh? na kuna watu ambao natural wanaamini kwamba hiki naweza. Yeah. Kama huu kama huu mimi siwezi I actually work hard yes. to prove it to you. Yes, yes, yes. Are you one of those people? Sometimes. Um so sometimes Sometimes yes, lakini I think the as I'm growing up yeah. and I'm becoming a fully mature adult. Yeah. Um naanza kukimbia ujana, naanza kuingia kwenye utu uzima rasmi. Yeah. Um less and less. So it's not so much to prove a point. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just if it's important enough or if there is a bigger vision ambayo hata saa zingine ni mimi peke yangu ndo naiona lakini si naiona yani nikifunga macho naiona yeah najaribu how, how how did you know you wanted it that bad how did you know kwamba the task i think yeah oh hmm. how how did you know kwamba because come on man hmm. ya kwanza i could understand yeah ya pili kutolewa rusha kuna then traveling to that yeah. even that is understandable yeah. but doing it the same thing the third, over, time. Uh, the third time i'm like come on man you must have there's something that you were chasing there's something that you must have wanted so bad what, what, what was it i think at the time it was around the age where i had decided that whatever happens in my life i am going to do something creative mm. um it wasn't so much come it has to be music mm. it's just at the time singing was something that was always there it came naturally it was fun i enjoyed it mm. and pia kwa kipindi hicho kwa mfano sikuwa nimefunguka kama nilivyofunguka sasa hivi kwamba creative ni ulimwengu fulani mkubwa sana 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 yeah kwa kipindi kile mimi nilikuwa nafikiria creative lazima waimbe huwa mwanamuziki au mwigizaji yeah that's yeah. it that was what creative was in my head yeah. and i couldn't act but i could sing yeah. and so i think at the time i had a very strong belief that kama nikipita tasker what i tell you what i give mtoto boy so i was driven by that belief yeah. not to prove a point because wow. so that was my go to market wow. strategy at the wow. time yeah wow i love that i love yeah. that and yeah. i love the thinking of that because babu i think i think expectations are lot kwenye mambo kama it's more about i should go in i should go win and then the things will become easier for me once i win but then for you the prize was actually getting it to the house just getting just getting in kaka ma wiki mbili tatu kwa sababu hata kitoka fresh kwa sababu unakuta the show is like almost 10 weeks unajua mm. hey these shows it's 10 weeks of prime time on prime television back to back to back hata yeah. mbudi kubwa zinazofanya campaign azipati prime prime time, time a whole day. hour no yeah, yeah. every single week yeah. it's intense yeah. and so that's why for instance w- w- when these shows especially the big ones yeah. when people come out of these shows they are kind of celebrities yeah. um and it's also like it has a good side and a bad side tell me about the bad side i think i think the good side <laughs> is easier to tell it's easier. Yeah. the bad side is <laughs> these singing competitions yeah. um one you don't go there to sing your own songs sindio mm. mm. with exception ya kama squeeze kuna kitu kinaitwa the voice yeah yes lakini zingine zote unaenda kuimba cover kwa hiyo mnashindanishwa kwa jinsi gani unaweza uka entertain audience entertain the judges and your ability to cover a song really well and so by that definition alone you're technically not really an artist or a musician yeah. you are a glorified karaoke singer and <laughs> that's the bad side and so sasa when you karaoke singer maarufu yani kwa hivyo unajua kuimba nyimbo za asha lakini wewe sio mwanamuziki bado sawa eh yeah na ndio maana tu kiangalia haya mashindano mengi ulimwenguni kote usually the winner doesn't have a career it's the guy who was number 3 number 4 number 5 number 6 who have careers because they were like okay this was yeah but i'm still going to do music bro yeah. you understand and for instance i felt it i can give an example felt yeah. it um real time kwamba you know most musicians um how they go about it in our market mm-hmm. so everywhere yeah. just ki tanzania <laughs> is you go to the studio you produce the music you release the music you promote the music and then you sit back and wait for shows sindio yeah um very few people do their own shows very few people tour kama mm-hmm. the US watu wanapofanya yeah. kwamba najipa mimi kazi yeah. zikija zingine poa yeah. lakini 
yeah. huku tunasubiri kupewa kazi lazima promoter yeah. akukubali yeah. hakupenda kufikiria aamini kwamba wewe unaweza kumleta biashara wewe unawashikaji ba presenter ambao nyimbo zangu zitatembea yeah. 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 na sasa kwa mfano kipindi kile <laughs> umetoka sasa taska um mimi kipindi hicho bado naishi chuga yeah. lakini nikuja da um for a few things unaenda mlimani city nakutana na watoto vikishua vinomba autograph you like ah. okay So you might like famous or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me, you, you, you. Me, 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 no photograph. Yeah. Oh, photograph. Yeah. 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 And then you're like, um, okay, kama mimi ni mwanamuziki, si nimetoa nyimbo, ngoja nitoe nyimbo nyingine. Mbona sha aziji? Yeah. Aziji? Yeah. Sha aziji. Just because you're famous doesn't mean a promoter wants to work with you. One, yeah. two, just because you're famous from singing other people's songs. Yeah. yeah. You know? What would I come to a show? What would I come to a show? Yeah, yeah. unless unless you create a whole career around covering songs and then you have a fan base of people who who like to come to listen to that really good karaoke singer. <laughs> a glorified. <laughs> so that's so people going to be bad. It is what it is. Yeah, it is But what there what is, is a lot of good in it. Yeah. Yeah. the idea behind it is very good. There's a lot of um experiences lessons people yeah. you meet yeah. um the feeling aspect of it is important yeah. as well because you see for instance i'm telling you about going there not expecting to win mm-hmm. although obviously everybody wants to win mm-hmm. but i was at peace with it already yeah but the opposite is also true kuna watu wengine pale yani yeye maisha yake yote hajaiko kutana na mtu anayemba kae And then you are humble. You are humble and people will take humbling experiences in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I like that. I like that. And I think and I think so I can relate to it for you first of all as a creative as well combine if there's a tendency that I think I've had to get rid of is falling in love with my own work. Yeah. It's auto no semo kwamba love is blind. Kabisa, I truly believe because <laughs> mm. if you fall whether you whether you're an artist you're an actor um, anything that you do as a creative you tend to fall in love with your own work now and truly love is blind ukipenda chongo so you unasema ukipenda chongo utaita kengeza really because unaweza kuona kwamba really there's nothing wrong with your work mpaka hapo unakutana na mtu ambaye ni mkali zaidi yako and then they challenge you to the point kwamba we are going to say they push you yeah. out of your comfort zone just you have to come okay Maybe miss some carry coming over kwa nani? Au you know u, yeah. unaweza kuwa mkwanza wa kwanza katika kundi la wajinga. Yeah. I mean bado ni wa kwanza lakini unaongoza wajinga. So those kind of things yeah. they would really 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 humble you. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So um, um, did you always had a dream of becoming a creative? No. How did that come about? I have no idea. I mean, there's no plan. It just happened. Kusema kweli it just happened. Oh, I, um, what was your dream about? ile kitoto toto ile ziko zinabadilika kila siku wao watakuwa astronaut astro astronaut astro wale wanaenda huko astronauts yes wow wao watakuwa pilot kwa sababu unaona wana suti kali afu wanakaa kwenye ndege afu jeki pana ndege nitaka kuwa pilot mpaka nilipokutana na hesabu afu ndio hizo nakutana realities kwamba inabidi kumbe ni hivi kwenye chemistry it's okay it's okay but i grew up a shy kid yeah um painfully shy unfortunately and so when you say painfully shy <sighs> as if there's a limit kwa na aibu and then kuna ile kwa extremely yeah ni shy mpaka kama una kera hivi watu mm. yeah ile um, i um nakumbuka from one from two niko secondary school hapo ndo mnakuwa kuwa mmebalea kidogo um washikaji used to call girls on me Yani utani wao how they would tease me is that when I need your channel as channel je kuniongelesha labda channel from 3 from 4 afu mimi nashindwa kuongea nao labda nakimbia naondoka wenyewe wanaenjoy wanaenjoy wanacheka so yeah it was i was painfully shy yeah. um and um i had another friend um and it was Ernest Ernest Mramba he's a very good friend to date he was also painfully shy go to kayani tunafuga nafuga ugonjo Okay. Like, it's okay yeah. the personality the personality. personality so everybody yeah. had to find their escape his escape was sports and football mine became books um and so books kwamba napenda shule kiivo lakini novels yeah and you know in linsaidia pia kujifunza lugha ya kiingereza zaidi nini 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 um and so actually books became my best friend 
Wow. Um, and then um, at some point, I got tired of reading fiction books. Um, don't, yani, kwanza, yani, kwanza, so many fiction books, mshika juango. Unakumaka vile vitabu vidogo vile vile bloom, skinny. Mills and Bundo, yeah. whatever. <laughs> Those love stories. Ah! Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> so many things you know. I I I took up and got some James Hadley Chase. I think I've read over a hundred James Hadley Chase books. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, but anyway, it got to a point where I got tired of fiction because yeah, I felt nothing is new. Yeah. Um, and so I was lucky enough to be around um, a guy, and it was John Mlai. Na kani tambulisha kwenye vitabu tofauti. I can be, hey, what do you like to read? Can be, I read this? It's like, yeah, but have you ever read anything other than fiction and love stories and people chasing people with guns? I can be a pan. I can be a chukwe chikitabu. And I can be a kitabu. Kilikuwa kinaitua The Richest Man in Babylon. Mm, I can be a pan. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Yeah. Pff, changed my mind. Really? Yeah, ni kabisa. Yani, yani from there on send. So ni, the love for books. Mane kwa naza kupotea. Ikarudi. Yeah. Um, interest ikabadilika nikaanza kujisoma kusoma kuhusu biashara 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 so labda kujibu swali lako yeah. i never knew i wanted to be a creative i don't think it's something you choose mm-hmm. i don't think it's something you choose i don't think this it's being not, a creative is not something you choose it's either you have it or you, you don't. have it or you don't mm-hmm. um, and it happens to you or it doesn't you can even be in the right environment with the right people but it, it's just you either have it or you don't you don't choose to be a creative you just are you cannot learn to be creative yeah 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 it's the same way you can't change who you are so what i did know is i always wanted to be a businessman okay yeah cuz vile vitabu vika vina nyamasisha nini nini na nikaanza kujifunza oh kumbe business na mambo mengi kuna law cuz this time i really thought i could be a lawyer yeah um kuna law kuna sales kuna marketing kuna accounting kuna finance nini na hicho pia ndo kilichangia kwamba nilipomalizaga high school sikwenda chuo kwa sababu nilikuwa najua nataka kufanya kuwa mfanyabiashara lakini sijui ni lin wapi so this is this is the part that really really um, um, and I, th- i would love for us to talk about it kwanza okay. kabisa i want to know the conversation uliokuwa nayo na mzazi nyumbani kwenda kumwambia kwamba you know what mm-hmm. nimemaliza form 6 nimeweza sidhani kama nataka kwenda chuo nataka mm-hmm. nichukue muda kidogo cuz sidhani kama the conversation about a lot of african parents would actually yeah. entertain na, na kutolerate so I would say I would I, I, I'm looking at it come you went, you went to pitch that idea <laughs> Oh no I didn't pitch it Oh really Why pitch something that won't work <laughs> <laughs> So cuz I got I got to you kuna kuna watu ambao wameweza form 4 akaenda chuo eh Yeah na kuna watu wengine wamesoma mpaka 6 na wakaenda chuo So kwa mfano form 4 ni mefaulu kwa normal na sio ya 7 sio ya 8 kitu kama hicho And then um my plan was Hey, nimefaulu. Can I just go to uni? There's no point of yeah, I already know I want to do business. Yeah. I don't understand kwa nini nisome eka ili nikasome kile kile kile, kile tena chuo. Yeah. Au nisome EGM au hizo. Um lakini ilivyo tafsiriwa. Huyu mtoto atake shule. <laughs> yaani ndio hivyo ilivyo tafsiriwa ikawa kesi. It, it doesn't matter what you get. Eh, the mind you mean we say hivi. Sasa kwa shule nadhani hii form 4 inatosha huyu mtoto atake shule mungu wangu tunavanya huyu mtoto nikapigiwa simu na mjomba uko mzima uko nikano endulie shindikane i thought i said anyway yeah. so when form 6 happened uzuri form 6 ulikuwa unamaliza mwezi wa pili kile yeah, kile yeah. and then chuo mwezi wa tisa tisa uko, so, yeah. Yeah. so kipindi kile ilivotokea um, um, it was more along the lines of okay nimemaliza niko nyumbani steka kia sara sara what can i do tafuta tafuta kazi nini um, na gonga gonga hodi na chiki ndugu labda anaweza kukupa mchongo hata kama kuendesha gari whatever mm-hmm. um, and it wasn't happening mm-hmm. and i got back to my box i was like okay all of these things sindo biashara lakini like, biashara mwisho siku nini ni mauzo yeah. something needs to be sold so that revenue is generated so sales bottom line yeah, right? it's bottom that's line. it yeah. so sales is the most important skill to have as a businessman mm. you can be good at anything else above and beyond but if you're not good at sales it's pointless you yeah lazima ujue kuuza so you've, like, you've just given us business 101 right there <laughs> yeah, like no matter what you do no matter what you, you do you got to know how to sell you got to know how to sell Um so, so what are you selling is up to it's a product it's a service it's a vision come and see we sell ideas yeah. right yeah. <laughs> right it's we true. sell ideas yeah. um so 
Um, I was like, okay, how can I become a salesperson? Hakuwa na nafasi nyingi, lakini kipindi hicho ndo network marketing. Ilikuwa ni hivi. GNLD, Forever Living, zikuwa hivi. Na wakati huo, kwa Arusha, Questnet. Yeah, Questnet. Questnet ilikuwa imeanza chuga. Wakati huo, hiyo ni 2010 na thani. Ilikuwa imeanza Arusha. And so, mimi nikafanikiwa kumshawishi bimkubwa kuninunulia sorry kulipia ile product walikuwa na product into biodisc at that time mm. they only had one product yeah. kuna biodisc kwa sababu ina afya ina in, sorry ina faida za kiafya kwake lakini kongo mimi nitapata kazi ya kufanya <laughs> it's a win win it's a win win so i sold hey you should buy this but on top of this i'll get something to do yeah and akakubali and nikaingia questnet and I guess that's how I started to do sales mm-hmm. and I, it also helped I, I had my own personal agendas the shyness ilikuwa haijaisha then unajua ile the fear of kuambiwa hapana kukosolewa ilikuwa nayo changamoto um I might have never had had a girlfriend that up to that point if that girl didn't ask me out <laughs> It was intense bro cuz yeah. like you know at least with sales nataka yeah. nguza kitu lazima niongee na mtu lakini uzuri ni kwamba naongea na mtu siwajui kwa hata kata fresh funny sales <laughs> so they get yeah. it. and bro to this day the our shikaji network marketing it is a pyramid scheme i would not recommend anybody to do it unless they're doing it for very very specific goals mm-hmm. um or unless we ni unaanzisha kwako you see it on top of the pyramid yeah, yeah. do you, you think man yeah. like any um our shikaji wamepatia vitu flani flani kwa mfano their sales training like how they teach you or train you rather to sell their products Pfft, out of this world man i've never gotten a sales training as good as that and that's what this is 2024 yeah. it's intense yeah, yeah, about yeah. 14 years ago yeah any the energy unakumbu yani unaishi kama vile hivi kweli kwa nini au ni noe nyingine yani yeah it's intense any the sales training was incredible the culture ambayo anajenga around who that's who's going out there to sell uh, it's incredible and so Yeah, it helped me. Nikaanza kuuza uza 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 uza. I never sorry, nikaanza kufanya sales meetings. Let me correct myself. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't sell anything for the first six months, I think, or seven months. For the first six months. Six, seven, yeah. Paka ile kipindi cha chuo cha chaguliwa. Nothing, nothing. Unafaa tu vikao back to back to back to back to back to back. Kwa hiyo nyumbani unaonekana unaamka huko busy. Niko busy. Lakini ilikuwa it's better than kaa nyumbani kwa sababu ilikuwa yani kwamba nikawa kama vile nimeajiriwa eh yani naamka asubuhi na fashat chokea na credit yangu raba naenda town eh nika town na tafuta vikao tafuta vikao wakati wote sasa wewe ujue watu wazima kwa hiyo unaongea na uncle na nani na nani na nani wakupe namba za washikaji zao ambao wanaweza kufaidika na hichi kitu kinaitwa biodisc kwa sababu kina remarkable this bs it's not true but on top of that if you add a friend you can make money and if your friend adds a friend you can make money afu unachora bali sababu yani zinavutia eh wewe unje kukuta hii wewe una book tu ya kurudi nyumbani baadaye lakini ndio hivyo back to back yani kwa namka naenda namka naenda it was this blind belief or faith that okay you know what sushabok so, fine fine yeah. sasa lakini pia kulikuwa kuna a little bit of guilt kwamba da you kayani itafikiri nimeenda chuo sijaweza disketa moja maza sijatagonaje ni totally koje so ukizingatia ni kitu nilitaka mwenyewe nilitaka mwenyewe but anyway what happened is um one day i'm 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 meeting this client whom she called it Mr. Patrick he owns a, a company a printing company in Arusha it's Creative Solutions uh, ni Kenya. And nimekaa pale, nimemsomesha mshikaji kama 40 minutes yani bidhaa dakika kumi ile nusu saa ile is how if you add this and you add this and you add this yani a million dollars haiko mbali. Eh? You become your own boss all that stuff. <laughs> It is very like why are you do your own boss? <laughs> you know. So anyway, tumemaliza and you know he was like Elisha Ah. So, I'm not going to buy your product. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So, thank you, but I'm not going to buy your product. But um I think I want to buy you. Wow. I was like, "Hey, what? What do you mean?" He's like, "So, I can realize that so kwa tuo ndo company ndo kumbe ndo imeanza tu. So, ni yeye mke wake, partner wake na wafanye kazi kama wao ile ile." So, he's like, "Um I have this business in it or hivi hivi hivi. Can you teach my people to do what you just did?" but for printing services instead of this 
biodisc thing. Can you do that? But for printing services? I was like, yeah, absolutely. I do sales training all the time. <laughs> He's like, okay, um, uh, so how does it work in India? Have a program? Yes, I have a program. Actually, if you of Sini, it's not this. I'm actually if you of Sini, and then I'll, I'll do the write up for you. I'll also send you a quote, and then we can discuss the details. Poor, poor. I had another uncle who has a consulting firm. I had another uncle who has a consulting firm. I had another uncle who has a consulting firm. Can we start next week? I said, no, I need two weeks to do market research. But I need an advance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even me advance. I can't even go book because how much money was it? It felt like a lot at the time. Yeah. And then I took all that money, the advance. Nikenda, there's a bookstore in Arusha, very old bookstore, into a kase, kase bookstore. Then I'm scared you're kase. I'll go and share his way and Elisha. I'm going to go and 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 I'm going yeah, so I can even with Tabu, I can eat you so much, 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 so so much, 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 so so to Kenya, to find a training, because we go to church, to go to a hotel, come a table, yeah. and then to, we just have conversations, conversations. So when you're training, I give them, I'm not Tiani. Just have conversations. I give them scenarios. I give them challenges. I tell them how to respond. Nini 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 nini. I put them in a room and cram the kutosha. Yeah. Ni katrinza kamanyo ni kapatia. Ivo for a whole week, and that was my first consulting gig. Um, you are talking about before you even went to college. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And then I had a couple of consulting gigs. And then maybe I think maybe nine months in, I finally sold my first bio disc. Oh. <laughs> I sold four of them wow. in one day. Now I don't want to do this thing. I don't like it. Oh. Yeah. So, 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 so I'm, I'm, if I'm getting it right, right? Yeah. You, my level. Yeah. You're like, I want to do business. Yeah. You went into sell. Yeah, you're learning how to sell it. Yeah, you're, le- you're learning how to sell. Yeah, so I would say you're kind of like honing your craft. I would say, you know, you are. Yeah. That is when you're getting skills, people skills, how to mm. lie, how mm. to tell the truth, when yeah. to lie, when not to lie. Pretty much all the things that comes with selling, right? Okay. After that, when do you get the realization, come you know what? Maybe it's time to go back to school right now. Oh. Um. I think it was 2013. I've been three years. And, and three years in time, you're living good. But now you're selling. Mambi and end. Yeah, Mambi and end. And by the time I was born, I was born in the first time. I was born in the first time. I was born in the first time. It's a lot of money. I was born in the first time. 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 I was born in na kazi yenyewe ilikuwa ni kuwasaidia washikaji wakienda kwenye sales meetings. Eh, kuwasaidia na sio kwamba tukienda na mimi na sell, ah ah, naangalia wao wanavyo sell afu tukitoka hapo tunafanya ka session eh, fanya hivi, fanya hivi, fanya hivi. Na kwa kadi nikaa nafugaga nywele, afu unajua ukiwa na nywele na uki gain weight unaangalia mkubwa kuliko mwili wako. Eh, kwani kajinenepesha kidogo nywele nyingi. Nini unaonekana at least up 20 something cuz I was 19, bro. So uh, so anyway, ah, you be <laughs> so yeah. 2013, the task I task I in Nairobi, and then after the task thing, I think so, so, yeah, I don't know what happened. I think we had a conversation. My mom, I'm going to go to the was you apply to now? Shaka kosa ili opening ya kwa kiu ni ni lifani gogo kuingia Kampala University, la. Yeah. Rafa, I'm going to go to Nairobi. Sinde ya sukuna vioko. Afu from six kufanya vizuri sana, lakini from four nilifanya vizuri, mm-hmm. huko na chukua from four. Yeah. Freshy, freshy, freshy. Basi poa, ni kasama na Nairobi. Wow. Uh, it, it just kind of happened. It wasn't really a, I think I need to go to school kind of realization. It was out of necessity. Kumba, look, it was out of necessity. Right? I'm down. Yeah. I think Pia, there was also the reality check that, okay, I don't know if I'm becoming good at this, but it does feel like I'm above average when I every time I meet other people who are doing sales and marketing who are older than me, have master's degrees, they're 28, 29, I'm 10 years younger, 
and I feel like I'm a little bit better than them. Maybe mm-hmm. I'm in my head, yeah, yeah. but I feel like I'm a little bit better than them. Mm-hmm. But the problem is, for instance, I could never be hired um, to do their job because I'm seen a vet. No qualification. No qualification. Yeah. Evil twenty. The yeah. things yeah. aligned in the candidate. As you're talking, you got me thinking. When I do, I nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya TV and radio, right? Yeah. Um, uh, back then, I so I had uh, like I couldn't see. I couldn't see myself out of your TV and your radio. I'm like, this is it. This is it. You know, this is it. It's a good place. Yeah. At least back then, you know, it, it's a good place. It's, it's one of my favorite. It is, um, I, I'm attached to your TV and your radio. So it's one of those radios that I not as a son. Yeah. Right? Um, this was me fresh from college. Yeah. Fresh from college in Kapata your cousin and in software. While I'm like, okay, I, I don't think I want to be a radio presenter forever. So at some point, I, I love radio. I really do. It's, yeah. it's one of the reasons why I do the podcast. I feel like that is why, that's where I get my energy. Mm. So you I talk like a radio guy. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, thank you. So, mm. um, so in my mind, I was like, okay, I need to do something about it because I love this place. I want to work here. Yeah. I want to continue to work here. Yeah. But one, I feel like, so for me, it was like the marketing, I felt like the marketing guys were making more money. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I'm like, Maybe yeah. if I get into marketing, yeah, I mean to a hell as I So you know what I did? Yeah, I went to school for my master's in marketing. Uh-huh. Right, proper. Uh-huh. Nikafanya, nika graduate, me somewhere from Zumbe and and leave that. Like kini now, how my career after that? I nika toka ATV, nika na kwa nyakazi femina, me toka femina. Went to BBC, me toka BBC, I woke up Bongo. So literally, my my career is in a whole different trajectory right now. Yeah, yeah. And I'm happy, and I'm happy now. But I'm looking at it now. Probably, probably, nige wait one more year. Probably nige sumo masters in marketing. Okay, sumo masters, yeah. Probably right now, if you 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 ask me right now, I would say probably again or summer maybe masters yeah media management, media development, project management uh, because it is in line with what I do now. But yeah. I'm talking about going to school out of necessity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, for yeah. me, the only reason I went to sc- I went back to school then was what. So I went back to school the same year that my dad passed away, and I pro- I had promised him that I'd go back to school. Yeah. So I was like, "Come on, you gotta go back. You gotta go back. You gotta go back." And for the longest time, I was like, "I'm He's the only one in the family that I was a master." So I was like, "I'll prove a point. I'll prove a point." You know? Yeah. yeah. But another reason was like <coughs> the only way neza ku ku kariangi kako within this organization is nikama nikiana kusuma marketing. Mm-hmm. But maybe either ninge pata good guidance au ningi a little bit more patience probably singe so my i'm not no regrets no regret things i think i feel like things worked out na ndio maana paka leo watu akishanza kuanza kuzunguzia kwenda kusoma masters au nini i'm always very keen because about why do you want to do it yeah you know why do you want to do it is it what you need or is that something about macho is that is this something that you feel like you got to do it because you feel like it's going to work out for you yeah. now but yeah. you got to think ahead as well yeah, yeah. I, i'm 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 all for delaying big decisions if mm. you can so konfano <clears throat> mimi nilivoenda chuo sasa so nimesoma international business with a focus in marketing and psychology wow and um, i'm not a therapist though but <laughs> I, it works for you well <laughs> right now so well. i mean you got to understand people yeah. in order to communicate to them um lakini konfano isinge kuwa Maybe haikutaki haikuhitaji kuwa miaka mitatu yeah. labda mwaka mmoja ungenitosha lakini isingekuwa hiyo gap I might have studied the wrong thing yeah. and ended up in the wrong career mm-hmm. or studied the wrong thing afu ndo nikirudi huku huku tu afu I'm like ah kwani nimesoma hichi kitu unajua yeah. zile yeah. kwa hiyo kwa mfano hata mimi na fantasize um, nikijaliwa kupata my own children yeah. um, kama wakimaliza ile high school especially squeeze out on my little dog and you want to make 16 17 bro Any? my 7 year old is in grade 3 you know and, eh? back then 7 year old 7 years been on as a kwanza so i'm looking at it right yeah. now i'm like why yeah. what happened yeah. <laughs> so mimi mwenye i fantasize kwamba kama kimaliza mapema na kichwa kiko vizuri achukue lip ya yeah yeah it's just normal and mwaka mzima chukua off sio off kwa nyumbani lakini off ya shule 
figure out who you really are as a yeah. person mtani yeah. fanya yeah. kazi mbili tatu find out what you hate or find out what you love you know and then go to that school yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah you talked about, you said something about delaying big decisions yeah and uh, I, it, it really really unajua unapata ile light bulb right and it made me think about a lot of big decisions that i've made in my life like did i really take a step back na ku na kujaribu kufikiria yeah. and i and and i honest feel like there are some ambazo really really took my time but i also feel like when ngina was nikwan mezi rush yeah but uh, i always say you know things happen for a reason whatever yeah. happened happened yeah. but one of the things i feel like what to na struggle na your son is to want things to happen right here right now mm. and sometimes we feel like kama dilisha likifunguka tunaona this is the only way to go forgetting kama yeah. maybe if you turn right kutakuwa kuna mlango mzima ambao unaweza kufunguka which yeah. is much much better yeah. than ili dilisha yeah. hapa yeah 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 i mean <clears throat> delayed gratification delayed gratification is um, is a, is, a, is a craft in itself um i believe mm-hmm and this is quite personal mm-hmm. that if you can become good at b- delayed gratification you should in theory and practice have a more fulfilling life eventually i guess you but because also delayed gratification allows you to let things flow na mm-hmm. joya let things happen you can have a vision the vision you should be stubborn but you can be flexible in the execution mm-hmm. um delayed gratification mfano mwa pesa tu ni kuna watu wakianzisha biashara ile biashara ikitengeneza pesa pale pale anaanza kuchukua na kamfukoni anaishi si ndio alafu baadaye anashangaa kwa nini biashara yangu haikui tofauti na watu wengine wakianza biashara anasema bwana miaka miwili ya kwanza atutoe tuzungushe tu mumu ndani that is delayed delayed yeah delay yeah. the gratification because everything you think you know before you do something you don't speak uh, on that a little bit more come again <laughs> what did i say everything you, you think, think you know, know before, before you do something you, you don't. don't yeah yani there is no perfect plan mm. yeah you just plan well um and you take calculated risks lakini hasa kwenye creative biashara um even projects yeah. non profit as well yeah. how do you kill a kitu na hivyo kama kuna nafasi ya kuwa na yeah, yeah. Yeah, how do i say this if you can in as much as possible leave room for things to happen mm-hmm. and things to fall into place mm-hmm. because then if you don't do that or you can't do that you do put yourself in a scenario where you're constantly chasing for something and you lose direction eventually yeah, yeah. yeah. and and na kwa fundo sasa kwenye biashara when you think of ah toko na ngani kinga mkono juzi na he was explaining very well about how um in tech products um nyie mnakao na buni mnasema hizi buttons zitafanya hichi watu wanapenda this user interface and this user experience and the checkout should look like this yeah. and then you take it to market and that's not what the market is telling you Manela, eh? so what's the lesson there you come back you do it again you take it it's still not what they're looking for yeah. so do you stop or do you continue to iterate and iterate and iterate until yeah. you get it right yeah. so what does that tell you that tells you maybe your solution is proper but the way you're doing it is not right yeah. or maybe the whole solution is not proper and you need to pivot yeah. so yani leave room for things to fall into place yeah and and i think that should be the general rule in life right it's it's just it's just not not, not just in business i feel like even in life as like you say the, the older you get the wiser you get maisha uh, tasha to chap huko kuna vitu ushapigwa character development ushapigwa watu character development you've learned umekuwa nafikia kipindi unaanza unaanza kuelewa kwamba yani there should always be a room ya kusema kwamba i don't know that's it <laughs> yeah like you know i yeah. don't have all the answers yeah i do know that i need to get from point a to, to point, point b, b. yeah Will I get there? Yeah. I and I will get there. Yeah. I believe I'll get there. So, yeah, let me give you another analogy. So for instance, kuna project management, right? Yeah. We talked about project management. Yeah. And more recently, there's agile project management. Mm-hmm. So what's the difference between a waterfall approach and bond waterfall, the traditional project management mm-hmm. and agile? The difference is this. Natoka da kwenda chuga, kwenda Arusha. Simani. We get it, we know. Unajua? Yeah, what do you? Natoka da kwenda Arusha. So 
um, the traditional project planning methodologies require us to know mafuta ya kiasi gani ita refill wapi bumps ziko wapi torches ziko wapi traffic yeah. wako wapi la 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 yeah. nitakula wapi itakuwa kwa muda gani nikitoka hapa saa mbili nitafika hapa saa ngapi all I, i need to know everything in agile project management um which is what is more commonly used mm-hmm. lately mm-hmm. and especially in tech and creative and innovation mm-hmm. is um hiyo hiyo safari lakini kwanza inaanza usiku so think of it as usiku yeah. and i can only see as far as the lights show me headlights zako zitakapoishia yeah. zitakapoishia yeah. ndo naona paka hapo yeah. na nikifika hapo nitaona paka pale yeah. lakini haimaanishi sijui napotokea kwenda yeah. na haimaanishi kwamba i'm completely blind i have some yeah. ideas kwamba kuna bumps kuna traffic yeah mafuta yatahitaji kuongezwa yeah. nahitaji kuwa na pesa mfukoni au kwenye simu yeah. all that thing yeah. but i'm going from here to here yeah. but i'm being flexible in how i go about getting here yeah. you understand yeah. but the goal is still the same yeah. i think when you treat most things um, in an agile approach yeah. you do create enough room for magic to happen yeah yeah, yeah 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 um, um, yeah one of my favorite rappers jay z is one of the song he just said There's nothing wrong with the aim. I just got to change the target. And what yeah. you just said, I feel like resonates so with that line in the sense comba there's nothing wrong with you going where you want to go or knowing where you want to go. But sometimes you got to be flexible enough to you comba moja speed bumps. Yeah. Traffic will take me away from sat or so computer bagamoyo. Yeah. Uh, umebeba spare tire moja unaweza kupata puncha mbili two yep. different tires yep. you know as yep. in unaweza kaenda njani fatigue ukashindwa kama una drive ukachoka ukashindwa ku drive yep. ukapata muscle cramp you know yep. so ukashindwa tena kukucheza na pedal yep. like things happen yep. so you should be able kuweza ku, ku, ku adjust your mambo so tell me um you've gone to school right you've gone back to school umetoka shule um you know you want to do business Yeah. Then how do we move from there to naked creative agents? Oh, naked also just happened. So <laughs> <laughs> Amazing how things just happened for you my guy. It's like unajua kuna watu tu mna bahati za maisha kwamba tunaenda and then somehow somehow vitu vinatokea tu nyota zina align things are moving. I do think luck exists. Mm-hmm. I do not think I'm lucky. Really? Yeah. I think I am every once in a while prepared mm. for something to happen um but to answer your question uh-huh. uh so sure to keep it to music 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 on top of the world gigs <laughs> <laughs> in my own little way yeah. um music music i used to do event yeah. planning i used to organize my own concerts is going to music i see yeah we used to do them in arusha dam once in nairobi um and then event planning was actually what i thought i might end up doing as a career mm-hmm. um and i did that throughout my whole uni the uni was four years um na so evo so you, you were never broke with kwa chuo No, I've never been broke. You are rolling. I, I got broke after chuo. I was like, "Eh, kumbe, maisha ni magumu." Ukata kumaliza ningeja ningechelewa zaidi kumaliza ya. Um lakini yeah, I was always busy. Yeah. The idea this room as a lot chuo, we used yeah. to do bartending in bars in Nairobi. Yeah. Evo. So I was quite busy. Um kasa nilivomaliza, um kwanza by the time unajua mimi naenda chuo, washikaji wote ambao tumemaliza wote wao washamaliza. Eh wao wanamaliza mimi ndo naingia. Wako mtani tani. Wako mtani. Kwa hiyo tayari there was like a f- another four year gap. Story as if anani yeah. kama hivyo. So I was like okay, well, okay, I guess I got to figure this out myself. Wakati yote sasa magufuli is in power. Mm. Um events thing were not happening as much sponsors are Tai Hela, Kivo and um Arusha baliko pa gum. Eh ni mkoani yani baliko pa gum yani. And I was like ah, Okay, I don't know. And then I Arusha Pia could four years of event planning and all that stuff. I could see the limit of my You hit the ceiling. Yeah, I, I yeah. hit the ceiling. Um, creatively, financially, I could see this is it really? No, it can't be it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's like okay, um katika karibu kwa mzee Chonga I have to decide. Ni ame kwenye jiji. So either ni back in Nairobi, pambane na wa Kenya, tuje tunatoboa vipi au ni amieda. Um, and I decided da. So when we went to Chuo, 
um, nikapita nyumbani nikakaa kama wiki hivi nikapaki bag yangu nikaja da um, na mshikaji wangu who is also my business partner right now uh, at Wadistro I need to Frank mm. kana kwa kwao I had no plan though yeah. yeah but the plan was come to da um, angalia mazingira koje look for a job you have a degree now maybe you can get a proper and job and a bit of an experience and you have experience yeah. so cv yako tayari na 4 years experience mm. la 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 um hivyo so nikaja huko um sorry i had already decided to move here so really applying for jobs against your cousins living yeah. apply kama mia kitu hivi unapita moja afu amuelewani bei vitu kama hivyo so anyway i came to dar um i looked for some jobs i got one um i was lucky i got a pretty good gig um as the head of marketing was zoom tanzania oh, wow. na brighter monday yeah, tanzania yeah. at the time so because i'm only learning these guys got merged into one business and um so my original plan <laughs> was actually joda kazi kama kamili because that is not your home eh? you need to make friends yeah. Yeah. connect yeah. Network. connect nini network yeah. um uh dj's dj's nko na so my plan was joda fanya kazi kama kamili and then go back to music full time okay uh that has not happened yet i've been in there for Seven years now so you <laughs> you don't see that happening you're a time soon well i see it happening just maybe not in the way i thought it would have yeah, yeah, yeah i yeah. project managed it too much yeah. i should have been agile yeah uh, uh, good and bad again <laughs> good description yeah <laughs> so even you can kazi uh, zoom nikafanya hapo kiasi um nikatoka hapo nikahamia marketing agency inaitwa think tank communications mm. Um, it's owned by a guy called Martin Hekeno. Mm. He owns a project management um, consulting and training business now in Ito Hebo Group. Okay. A brilliant talk up Kawe. Mm. Um, by far one of the smartest young men I've ever met oh. in my life oh, is wow. my last boss Martin Hekeno. Brilliant ah. guy. By far, by far. And um and even even how I even got the job. I kind of didn't earn the job really because sababu people in agency hire people from agency yeah. environments mimi nilikuwa huku i guess client side um and um i was doing a lot of digital i've i've been lucky kusema kweli i've been able to be around a lot of digital environments um i was one of the very f- early team in about walikuwa wana push mkito kipindi hicho oh, yeah. yeah. i recruited all the kenyan musicians on to mkito kipindi yeah. hicho oh, wow. yeah yeah alikuwa anafaka zingine sune yeah. but anyway um i was at zoom and i again i saw another ceiling mm-hmm. and the ceiling that i saw is um this is cool to be in a place that really believes in digital ads na nini watu wanaenda zoom wananunua vitu wanatafuta kazi wanatangaza kazi wanafanya yeah. digital campaigns it was very very cool and they were spending a lot of money kwa mwezi kwa matangazo si mchezo if it was not zoom what else would it be yeah <laughs> it was yeah. like yeah. bro si mchezo i was like mm, okay this is cool like kini ge so corny pa koje mimi mwenyewe i own an e-commerce business and i know for a fact that in this market you can't be 100% digital mm. you can be largely digital but you do need you, to have some on ground you can never be 100% yes. you cannot yeah yeah let's more figure out on a balance vp um and if you're not balancing be willing to take the consequences that come with it mm. and so i was like okay i think natamani kwa kwenye mazingira ambayo naweza nikaona watu watu wanafanyaje matangazo ya radio mm. ya tv kama kampeni sasa sio kwa jili yeah. yangu tu na viventi vyangu yeah. properly yeah. so i was like hey let me let me join an agency so i can get linkedin i found five agency owners i sent them a message hi i do this and this and this this is the kind of results i've been able to do here i feel like i could do more in an environment like yours sent Same. a message linkedin so, yeah linkedin yeah. yeah um that's 2018 i think 2017 ish 2017 18 2018 yeah. um i got three meetings Um, two actually happened one of them gave me a job which wow. was martin yeah um yeah i i think to a large degree i mean so zukum semea but he chose to gamble on me because he took a bet um he worked out for him <laughs> but <laughs> clearly <laughs> <laughs> but he took a bet because yeah. this kid digital when i'm ziki events it's a cool because your agency agency is stressful yeah yeah <laughs> but he took a bet he saw whatever it is that he saw 
and he gave me a job as a media specialist ambaye sasa ni kana fanya digital pamoja na traditional ndio hapo nikajifunza kufanya traditional media plans my excel yale nini i'm actually pretty good at math so yeah yeah, yeah. 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 um lakini yeah so nivo toka kwa mart so after after martin um um is when naked was born um and <laughs> and i'm saying naked just kind of happened because how it was was i really liked my job it was a good job it paid well the culture was nice and um the leader of the firm was somebody i wanted to be under yeah. any proper mentor you proper like. proper mentor like mm shikaji apa apa eh yani ikitokea naondoka sijui and it never crossed my mind at that point in time, i was like i want to stay here with this guy learn well, everything he knows yeah. and see how else i can maybe even become a partner in this firm yeah. instead of leaving and any i was completely sold onto the vision um but what happened was the business iliumba again agency business yeah. is like this um uh, we lost a couple of big clients and some got fired because you know for business reasons and um hivo they, they they had to downsize and vitu kama hivo etc 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 and it got to a point where it didn't make a lot of business sense um for them to have very expensive hires yeah. like me um they were paying me really well yeah yani kirosaf yeah um na lakini sasa kabla hicho kutokea mimi nilikuwa nimeshaanza kufukuzia ule ndoto yangu ile ya si 2 years after yeah. ZK na mwaka wa pindo ulikuwa hey, mwaka pindo <laughs> sasa sasa fanyaje hapa yeah. hebu yani jitengenezee mazingira ya kutoboa again luck doesn't just happen to you you need to be prepared yeah. so i was like okay you know what i'm going to do kwanza da kazi sana kufanya gigs alive kwa sababu ilikuwa kazi sana kupata sehemu za ku rehearse mm-hmm. so sehemu nyingi bado tulikuwa tukipata gig hotelini wapi haya bado hapo unapiga gig moja yeah. moja yani ah mimi nabidi nifanye rehearse kanisani hasa so you can risk and send change moto kidogo yeah. sasa zingine unakutana kwao nao wana rehearse zao nyimbo zako sio za kimungu mungu hapo <laughs> Yeah. Na kiamia pepo, yeah. 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 The name was Naked. Yeah. But Naked was supposed to be a rehearsal studio and but I nilivona vision in dogo nikasema ni pano kidogo iwe a content studio. Oh, wow. Why a content studio because I didn't want to compete with my employer. Yeah. My employer is an agency. If I do an agency, that's direct competition. Yeah. I'll get fired. Yeah. But conflict of interest. Conflict yeah. of interest. Lakini yeah, yeah kama agency, agencies nyingi hazi produce. Mm-hmm wanabuni wanaandika scripts nini nini lakini they don't produce yeah, they take it to the studio they take yeah. it to the studio wanene wapi wanasema yeah. i'm going to build a, a content studio na huko ndio ndio rehearsal the fact that gigs zangu da 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 even sense even sense the connection the bonge la plan and it was so simple nikwani shamaliza maisha and then they will call on the retirement plan here oh wow yes but it didn't happen business ikayumba I had to pivot and I had to pivot by getting into consulting mm. instead of just doing content. And then COVID came to kabisa content. Yeah. Koyo naked again had to pivot. Yeah. We had to become a strategic marketing communications firm um that specializes in strategy, content production, media, PR, etc yeah. etc et and here we are now. So um I, I want to ask you this, right? I I think a lot of time and then I it kind of circles back to how we started, right? In terms of as creatives loving what we do um the the ability to adapt and the willingness to change from your story and from the other conversation we've had here one of the things that I've picked is you've never had issue with adapting to the situation right at least that's what I've like you've always been able to adapt like I used to read fiction books but now have you tried something it's like cool let me try you know uh, I want to do sales you come do a training you know I think I can do it I'll come and train your stuff you want read the books come back do the training um you know like I want to create a studio then you know not only a rehearsal studio then we're going to have a recording studio but you know what maybe it could be an analogy so I feel like you've always found a way to actually to adapt to the uh, uh, to the environment that either you're being thrown in or you find yourself in. I didn't so, have a choice, man. Cuz yeah. I will, you adapt or die. Mm-hmm. Um I can tell you this though. Mm-hmm. Every single time I had to adapt in without my willing, 
like it wasn't the plan it was very much coupled with a couple of months of depression like ah, shit, i'm losing this job ah this is not what i wanted to do you understand eh? so it was always followed by a couple of months of depression of i stress eat i gain a lot of weight when i'm stressed um it was always like that like it's not uh, it, uh, of course, mm-hmm. you una, una but you don't have a choice. You yeah. adapt or die. You sink yeah. or swim. Yeah. Um, but it's not like happily. No, it wasn't happily. That wasn't the plan. But what are you gonna do now? Yeah. You're gonna quit. You're gonna go home. Yeah. 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 Like, no, no, no. Apana. So apana. Adapt, 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 and then we adapt and we adapt. And you go through the depression, you get over yourself, you grow a thicker skin, it didn't kill you, it made you stronger. You pick the lessons, you let the bad shit go, um, and you keep it moving. You keep it moving, yeah. yeah. How have you been able to maintain your sanity through all that? I have no idea. Because, because, <laughs> it's, it's, like you said, you talked, you almost don't come to the moments of depression, you yeah. know, you stress it, and then at some point, you coping mechanism has to come in. Now, and I feel like, <coughs> happened to a lot of men who are going to struggle, but when it comes to coping mechanism, kuna wengi nezo kachagua ku escape, now turn into different vices, whether it's drugs, whether yeah. it's excessive use of alcohol, yeah. Whether it's, you know, all the bad habits that come with it. Yes, I'm depressed. There's nothing I can do about it. But I'm not going to let this thing kill me. Yeah. You know, so for you, what do you feel like has been your, something that has kept you moving throughout, through all the, through all the ups and downs? Something that has kept you moving, like not giving up. Uh, let me figure out how we're going to do about it. Yes. We may go through some hell now, but we are riding the wave. What yeah. has been what has been something that has kept you on? I'm not sure, but I can freestyle. Mm-hmm. Go on. It's not a kiga. Naisi ni mchanganyiko vitu vingi. Naisi ni mchanganyiko vitu vingi, vingi, vingi. Um, one, um, there's a lifestyle I'd like to be able to afford because I'd like to be comfortable and I'd like to be able to afford a certain level of comfort for the generation that I will bring into this life. So even though I don't have kids, I am thinking about them. Yeah? I'm thinking even take a vivi vivi ili na kisaba kinda hivi 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 afa kimaliza ule mwaka pale kama kama akili iko sharp ni mwacha niona anafanyaje kama iko sharp nitamuingiza in one of these business. There's a, there's a lifestyle and so this is that um two there is um ubishi tu ni watu wa rusha ndo tulivyo na sio umeru wala uchaga mimi sio umeru wala mchaga mimi ni mtu wa singida ni mnyaturu lakini culture the hip hop culture ya arusha when you grow around arusha a lot kuna ubishi tu yani it's just a a trust me i can can relate i get Lazima. Yeah. Eh, eh lazima kieleke. Paka kieleke. Kwa nini kisieleke? Lazima kieleke. Lazima really? kieleke. Yeah. Which also um, is I'm pretty decent at self-motivating. Mm. Um and I think again for good and bad reasons. Yeah. Um is because when you are very shy and you're an introvert, you become a loner and The interesting thing about that is sometimes when I'm alone I'm not lonely. I'm just alone and I'm okay with that. And because the journey of entrepreneurship confano is quite lonely yeah. and you got to have yeah, some people can't deal with it. Um I'm I'd like to think I'm not so bad at dealing with it because I'm yeah. I'm good at being alone. Yeah. Um which means I, I'm I also need to be good at self-motivating and checking myself never to come ahead of Um, I do not think though yeah. that I am very sane. <laughs> you have your, you have your little bit yeah. you have your insanity I'm going for yeah, sale. I think yeah. yeah I think I am a, I'm a, I'm an extreme optimistic dreamer. Mm. Um, I just need to see it even if nobody else does. And there's something I see which I doesn't make sense to say here. Mm-hmm. There's something I see and me sipoki vanikisha 
lazima nitafanikisha yani it just yeah. kuto kufanikisha si option it's not an option wow it has to happen for me it has to happen mm. it has to happen that's it yeah um, <laughs> more like manifest, man, manifestation <laughs> right and speaking things into existence yeah. and 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 uh, trust me i think i think that is so powerful and 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 i think for for a lot of i think for a lot of people may, maybe like you say maybe introverts au kwa watu ambao look you got to believe it in yourself first before you convince others yeah and 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 i feel like you can tell if a person really 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 believes in it yeah you can, like i can, i don't know how to explain it but you there is a way that i can actually look at you and you know what you really really do believe in this you, you it might not make sense utaweza tukaangalia hakuna possibility kwamba it fall like from where i'm seeing this man there is this there is that there is this but sio ni tunatoboa vipi like in the more you like no 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 this can actually happen because i'm seeing kwamba tukipita like you got to believe it first before anybody else yeah and that is the only way some things might actually happen and i think that is why sometimes it's very is very important kwa na thick skin especially well this is a man's podcast i think as a man is very important kwa na the thick skin yeah. i think it is very important kwa resilient resilience resilient, resilient. Yeah, yeah. it's very important kwa resilient yeah. i think it's very important for a man kwa driven yeah especially kwa self driven yeah it is very important yeah. and number four, i'd like to quote my my great friend princely glorious princely uh, i don't know if you know princely this yeah. princely is my guy kuna kitu aliniambia kitu moja that has stuck with me asimaje you've got to know what is your thing yeah you've got to know what is one thing kama leo tu kikutoa tukotupa japan ambao ongee kiingereza ongee kiswahili but somebody ask what is it that you do yeah you should be able to sell I sell and I sell so well. And I feel like that is one thing that every person in this world needs to have. It's a skill whether it means we sharpen whether it means whatever it takes you need, you need to have that thing. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's super 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 important. Yeah. Yeah. Um I've got about three more questions before I let you go. Okay. Uh number one, what has been your greatest failure? my music career what has been your great success ah nyingizo does it have to be one <laughs> oh, we can mention 10 if you feel like it can you paraphrase the question differently so like i can actually w- answer it one thing any what are the <clears throat> things that have been any ambavu mefanya na vimekuwa kwa na term kwamba this is a success at, at a personal level I've never missed payroll. Wow. Not once. That's huge. Okay, I think I have two more questions. I said three but I got two more. What is the best advice you could give? what is your favorite song yeah. and then you forget all the songs <laughs> yeah um, but yeah. i can think of many yeah, yeah. Um, 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 one of them that i can think of right now is there was a time there was a turbulent time in my relationship mm-hmm with my wife mm-hmm. who is well now my wife but yeah. at the time was we were dating yeah and it was along the lines of pamoja na hivi vyote lakini maisha yanaendelea yeah eh kwa hiyo what you got to do maisha yanaendelea oh man you've have you ever you got to keep it moving you got to have you ever seen this there's a clip i think from a tom hanks Jamie Fox, Robert De Niro. I don't know with who else. It was a master class and then somebody asked Tom Hanks kwamba what is one thing you wish you get you to come for kwa kijana. Akasema I wish nige you this too shall pass. Mm. And and I love this example. It was it was like 
you think you're going through it. You think nobody gets you. You think you're carrying the weight of the world over your shoulder. You think nothing is happening. Remember, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. However, he went on and said, you think you're sitting on top of the world right now? This too shall pass. You think pass. everybody gets you? You think you're the king of the any... Everything is working out so well for you, like nothing can go wrong. This too shall pass. Yeah. Now, I, for me, it's like a lot of times for to me, it's going to be a struggle. But we rarely think of that things when are things are good. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we rarely, rarely, <coughs> rarely think of that. Yeah. The last one, yeah. the worst advice ever you've ever been given. The worst Which, advice? Yeah. Is another one in Yingi. You know, you're. Yeah. I actually have friends yeah. who I seek their advice yeah. so that I do the exact opposite of what they say. And I love them to death. I get it. And yeah. it's like, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, don't judge each other when you're brainstorming. Yeah. Vomit your ideas. Yeah. Then the, anyway, worst advice I've ever gotten. Worst advice I've ever gotten. Uh, Kibongo bonga yeah. yeah. you, you feel it you know, no, 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 slogan video. It's not even advice because a lot of time to now yeah, you, you come with a great idea, people are like, ah, kibongo bongo. I remember when I started doing the podcast, man. So I the first episode we did was in 2019, right? And I think Pindicho Church. I remember Kwakuna, one of my favorite podcasts back then was the Chai Podcast. Mm-hmm. The three ladies are quite fine. It's amazing. It used to be my favorite and I I think kulikuwa kuna salama. I think there was that one mm. and Kasi. Em Kasi alikuwa anapeleka kwa ni kabla salama na I think you come. But then there were very few and then we got me and I feel like come on man. Kibongo bongo mzee podcast unafanya utoboe kibongo bongo. Kibongo bongo. But mimi nikaambia yeah. by define kutoboa. Yaani inawezekana kutoboa kwako sio kutoboa kwangu. Yeah. Probably we are thinking money. <coughs> Me, I'm thinking knowledge. Yeah. Probably we're thinking profit. Me, I'm thinking impact. Yeah. So yeah. you gotta understand. But yeah. I agree. And I think that saying has killed a lot of people's dreams. Yeah. And you know what? Maybe that dream wasn't strong enough. Maybe. Maybe uh, because maybe if it was, I guess I'm out. Ubi Shachugo Gig. Yes. <laughs> My man. <laughs> uh, this was a good one. He's here, our Elisha. Thank you for coming through, man. I, I, and it circles back to to Vanza Kuzungumza Mwanza Kamba. Really want us to talk about perseverance. Talk about why when you dream, where why you gotta go chase your dreams. Why it's so hard to have a strong conviction. Na na na. Kupinga no na chokia mini. Na in the world of Denzel Washington, if it was easy, kila mtu angefanya, right? Yeah, yeah. And that is why sometimes some some things are just. Not for everybody. Yeah. And and it's okay. Kama weo kiwana kwamba watu wa kuelewi. As long as unajua na chokitaka na unacho na na Fidkiu I, I think I'll call too many hip hop but Fidkiu alisema I think something along the lines if you kujua na chokitaka basi ya mke anzisha njia na kukifata or something like that. Or something along those lines. But the point is if you actually do have a dream, yani go chase it. Yeah. Inawezekana isiwe rahisi na inawezekana watu wasikuelewe na inawezekana ikaja na a lot of cost. Uh but nothing worth having is ever easy. Yeah. Tupo kwenye ndoa tunajua. Yeah. If you really value your marriage and unajua mambo yake yalivyo sometimes you know inakuja na compromise kujua wapi pa kupanda wapi pa kushuka when yep. to take a step back when yep. to take a lead yep. when to be led you know and all these other aspects so it all comes to but because you know it's something that is worth it you always like you know what no matter what we're going to see this through so i i, I look at challenge nyingine za maisha kwa namna hiyo and yeah. and for me mkiongo anaambia kwamba naishi anaishi nitaishi maisha marefu sana because i don't let things get to me yeah i try my best not to worry and then you pray if you believe in God. Yeah. And then whatever happens, you know, you do your best and God will do the rest. Amen. Yeah, so he's here. Thank you. Asante, I sana. before sianza kuhubiri na kwa preacher mwandan. By the way, kama mtu anataka kuangalia msasa, I know you on I know you on YouTube. Yeah. Are you on any other platform? Me I watch you I I I, I will mostly watch it through YouTube. Yes. So, so we're on YouTube, but we're also available on any streaming platform that you can think of. Oh wow. Yeah, and gear too. Andika msasa podcast. Yeah. <coughs>
Okay. Utapata msasa. Utapata msasa. Na, yeah. na, 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 na Instagram is msasa. No. So msasa, I know mnatumia naked. Uh, yeah. So is... msasa is a brainchild of the agency. Okay. In very many ways it's our CSR. Amazing. That's how we're giving back to the world. Yeah. Um and so msasa exists on the naked website, okay. on the naked socials. But to YouTube, you yeah. know, independent uh, streaming platforms, you can independent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, amazing, amazing. Yeah. If it okay, somebody wants to be featured in Sasa, what, what do they do? What do they need to do? Um, oh, they don't look for you, you look for them. No, nah, no, no, no. <laughs> We yeah. have um so you can go to our website. Okay. Which is naked.co.tz. N E I K E D dot C O dot T Z. Naked, yeah, naked, naked. N A K E D. Well, no, N E I K E D. Ah, N E I. Naked. Naked, yeah. Why 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 all this time we're gonna get come naked? Oh, because Na- we mean, we mean naked though. Okay. Yeah, it's just <laughs> Naked. Being creative. Got you, got you, got you. So you go to the naked website. Yeah. <laughs> Inside it's gonna uh, um, sasa yeah. section. You can fill a form. Oh, yeah. na slide to kunya DMs. Yeah. Na penda hichi kitu na dani mtu fla. It doesn't have to be yourself. Of course, yeah. Na dani mtu fla. Kwa mfano, we've got a couple of people who um have already asked, hey, can my boss come and do? Can wow. my nini? Wow. I work at this organization. We have this person. Can they come and talk about this project? Yeah. They, they just reach out. There's no formula. Vyote vila mbavo unezo ka vipata, unezo ka chata, unezo ka chata comment kwenye YouTube comments pale. Yeah. We'll pick it up. We'll reach yeah. out to you. Amazing. We'll make it happen. Amazing. Kama uja angalea msasa, please take your time. Go ka angalea. I think it's it's a very nice platform. I love the conversation. I love... How one of, I love the Fit Cues episode when yeah. he talked about yeah. him letting down the people that has so much trust in yeah. him. And, and it's it's just amazing, man. You go pick it up to find your time. Kakaya Kangalie. There's so much more to learn from there. So yeah, from us, this is it. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Kakuangalia episode of the Men, 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 the podcast. I hope uh, you will enjoy watching this I've, as I've enjoyed actually having this conversation with my guy here. And I hope, you know, there are lessons that you can pick one, two, three, or four, five. If there's something that you pick, not to be any at Men, the podcast on Twitter, at Men, the podcast on Instagram and Facebook. Or, you know, send us a DM, a comment, go to our YouTube page, Wakatu Nangalia, your YouTube channel. And they can comment pale. If you know me personally, reach out to me. You know, it's always good to get the feedback. Come on, ask Lisa, put your Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, pale. Go give us a rating, comment. That means more people will get to find out about um, conversations. Zetu, apa soto tendelea kukuza community yetu. That's it from now, or from here. Apa tulipo. Till next time, eh. Mine ito Michael Baruti. His year was in the building. Yeah. Peace. Now, you're listening to Now with Men, 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 the podcast.